Welcome back to the channel everyone. Crypto Take over here coming back with another Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you today. We're going to be taking a look at two different articles here. We have one Elon Musk back on Twitter sends Dogecoin soaring after tweeting his support. Uh, yeah, so I, hopefully they have the screenshots of the uh, tweets in here, but I thought this is pretty funny today. So uh, I just, <laughs> it's pretty cool to see that these, uh, you know, <laughs> Elon Musk especially, I mean, tweeting out these uh, tweets just in, in these markets move so quickly. It's it's absolutely incredible. So cool stuff. We'll take a look at that. And then uh, Michael Saylor, Michael Strategy is offering their playbook for corporate Bitcoin adoption at annual summit. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a very, very big event too as well. Um, I believe it is already taking place. I think it's in the next week or so, maybe this weekend. I believe maybe Monday actually. So Ethereum's futures opens on um, Monday for the CME group. Um, and we'll have to see when this is going to take place, um, but we'll take a look at Bitcoin charts and then we'll also jump over into Doge possibly too as well. So let's cue that intro and get started, folks. All right, if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way y'all can keep up to date with us as we make a video every single day on the Bitcoin cryptocurrencies and as they continue their bull run of 2021 folks. All right. So we've been talking about this for a while, but uh, honestly, you know, uh, Elon Musk. Okay. What do we got going on here? Elon, <laughs> it says cryptocurrency Dogecoin soared more than 50% after Elon Musk tweeted uh, his support. The tweets came two days after Musk said he planned to take a break from Twitter for a while. I, I saw that tweet too. And I thought it was like, oh, okay, interesting. Doge jumped over uh, up to five cents, according to data on blockchain cryptocurrency desk. Musk first tweeted Doge and immediately fo followed it up with Doge is the people's crypto. Yeah, so I was scrolling through. He like had a bunch of posts yesterday too as well. And uh, I think he had almost maybe two or three posts dedicated just to Doge. Pretty wild stuff. Uh, cryptocurrency Doge soared, soared more than 50% on Thursday after billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk tweeted his support for it. Two days after he said he was to take a break from Twitter for a while, Doge jumped over up to five cents according to the data on blockchain and cryptocurrency website Coindesk. Musk first tweeted Doge and immediately followed it up with Doge, Doge is the, Dogecoin is the people's crypto. The Tesla chief's uh, tweet, tweets about certain companies and cryptocurrencies have sent their prices soaring in recent weeks. Uh, he shared the GameStop and Etsy. Wow, okay, jumped in comments on his Twitter account about them. In the crypto world, Musk putting a Bitcoin hashtag in Twitter uh, sent the most popular currency flying. He has since taken off. I guarantee you that Elon Musk is going to be at this um, Michael Saylor event. He's more than likely going to be there. Meanwhile, rival cryptocurrency and uh, Ethereum is also on record setting spree as investors buy it up for the launch in Ethereum's features on the Chicago. Yeah, so talks about the CME features opening for Ethereum next week. Uh, okay, boom. Okay, so obviously um, Elon Musk can move the markets. What do you know? Um, yeah, <laughs> billionaire uh, entrepreneur here. Uh, of course, he's going to move the markets. Okay, crazy stuff, folks. Let's jump on over into our next article here. Taking a look at the micro strategies playbook, um, I heard that like a normal anyone can join this too as well. It says Sailor and his micro strategies front run corporate Bitcoin. What abouters uh, at the firm detail heavy annual conference? Okay, uh, micro, uh, Michael Saylor, CEO of Micro Strategies of Bitcoin Treasuries, called upon fellow business executives Wednesday to avoid the path of financial uh, selfdom at his virtual World Now Bitcoin themed conference. In his solo address, Sailor detailed the cryptocurrency playbook that propelled his three-decade-old data uh, firm Newfound Revalence in less than a year, largely eschewing the near-mystical rhetoric that has punctuated his public crypto mu musing since August. Sailor focused on hardline business strategies, producers, and dollar sense language in a uh, calibrated appeal of corporations so there's a micro economic wind blowing big it's going to impact 400 trillion of capital that capital is sitting in fiat instruments that are being uh, debased the capital is going to want to convert into strong money sailor said Woo. yeah wow um some good words there i know they talked about michael sailor kind of being the front man for bitcoin right now too and uh lo and behold like he definitely knows his stuff so um i think he's a good front man for uh the push to uh 
you know, cryptocurrency adoption too as well. Every company has to make two choices. When faced with a world of uh, belligerent money printing, Sailor said, you either have to decapitalize, which is kind of like self-destruct, or you have to recapitalize with an asset, which is going to appreciate faster than the rate of monetary supply expansion. This is where Bitcoin comes in. And yeah, as we you know, um, the dollar and the Bitcoin charts tend to teeter-totter. So, you know, you're going to get one moving down, the other up and vice versa, right? Um, just because of how much uh, money printing is going on too as well. Uh, every company on earth can do that, right? Every company has an amount of treasury assets. Okay, what did he say back here? Fiat derivatives, um, the road to selfdom. I wish I knew when exactly this was. I'm guessing it's going to be next week. I've, I, I remember them saying it's going to be in the beginning of February um, where he's going to share his playbook. And I guarantee you Elon Musk is more than likely going to be there, folks. Um, so pretty crazy stuff uh, to see that. Um, this could have a, a, a pretty big impact on the market too as well. We'll have to see how February is going to move forward. But without further ado, let's jump on over into the charts and get started over there. All right, we were taking a look at some of our alts here. We'll jump on over into BTC, see what's happening over here. Um, so BTC obviously uh, wanted to break above this trend line, got a nice move to the upside. Finding some resistance here, this is the eight hour chart. Um, current price of BTC is about $36,000 as of right now, sitting um, right underneath 36.5K. Uh, so what we're looking at on the charts here, you can kind of see that we've had a nice trend line resistance above head as of right now form for us on our eight hour chart, which uh, definitely is a nice chart to uh, keep a close eye on, especially it's just a little bit of a higher time frame, uh, which would give us some more sentiment there too as well. Go ahead and delete this one. It looks like um, this is going to be our next area of support, uh, resistance above head. Uh, let's zoom out here. Uh, money flow is still looking kind of thin as of right now. And uh, that's just going to give a lot more choppiness to our charts too as well as we continue here um, into this uh, area of consolidation. You can already see on our um, higher time frames, it, uh, the candles are wanting to possibly break above this resistance line too as well. Um, and so we'll have to kind of see how that plays out. You can also see how Marcus Cipher B, our one day momentum wave is still headed to the upside for Bitcoin. So it definitely looks like Bitcoin still got some nice movement in it, po possibly ready to break above this trend line uh, area of resistance and then uh, maybe make support above it. So we'll have to kind of keep a close eye on these higher time frames maybe right now. Um, it does look like we still are kind of forming somewhat of a symmetrical triangle. And, uh, you know, once we have a close above uh, this trend line up here, probably on the daily or the two day, um, then we'll definitely probably be making our way back up to the 40,000, if not $50,000 area for Bitcoin. Uh, so keep a close eye on this. Um, let's jump over into the dominance chart, see what's going on over here. On the daily, Bitcoin kind of finding support here. We had a big green dot um, on market cipher B, and uh, now we're kind of seeing this stair step pattern uh, form for us. So another little hump here, uh, Christmas tree pattern down at the bottom. Um, and now we'll have to look, wait to see if this is going to continue up a little bit higher. Money flow on the daily doesn't look too, too good, uh, but the two days still looks relatively good. What we're waiting for is probably a green dot on market cipher B. But as you can see, we've already been starting to round off in our momentum possibly finding some support um, somewhere down here at about the 61% uh, area for the dominance chart on Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the dollar, see what's going on over there, and then we'll take a look at Doge, right? <laughs> take a look at Doge and see how that was performing. Uh, let's go over into the dollar. All right, taking a look at the dollar here. Still looks like we're in an upward trajectory, you know, and uh, I, do, I do know that there's been a third stimulus package that could be passed too as well so um, I mean but as you can see folks uh, market cipher B we're just steadily in the thick red here especially on our higher time frames um, you know this could recover but I think that these higher time frames are just going to continue to hold us down and we'll probably get some rejection five day possibly wanting to move above the 21 EMA um, so we'll have to wait to see if we're going to get that bullish close above the 21 EMA, which is right at about uh, 91 cents or so on these higher time frames. We could be seeing some rejection um, at above 92 cents or so, uh, but I definitely think that, you know, more than likely it's going to end up trailing back to the downside, um, just given all the stimulus being passed and all the money printing. But, you know, we could be wrong. We could be having a little bit of recovery here in the dollar, um, and we'll have to wait to see what Bitcoin wants to do uh, besides that uh, versus the dollar. But we do know that they like to um, seesaw back and forth for the most part. And last but not least, let's take a look at Doge. 
Where are you, Doji? Doji coin. Da, 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 da. Uh, I always lose my. There we go. Doge coin, man. Wow. What can I say? Uh, Elon Musk is definitely the pump master, man. <laughs> uh, so we're getting our retest up here. Um, back at our all time high once again at five cents. Uh, we've hit all the price targets going up. Um, just outstanding price movement so far. Pretty, pretty wild. So um, I'm definitely keeping our Patreon members up to date on all the alts that we're trading. So if you want to come over there and join us inside of our private trading group, check out the link in the description box below. It, um, we're using Patreon as a payment processor. So if you want to pay with uh, debit or credit, use Patreon. If you want to pay with crypto, I'll get you set up. Message me on Discord and uh, we'll get you taken care of and get you inside of the group. But all of our posts right now are inside of the Discord server um, in our private categories so once you do join make sure I got your discord name and I'll add a new role to you in the discord server so you can see those updates and so doge here definitely looking like it's probably going to be passing the all-time high relatively soon we're seeing the green dot also appear on the daily time frame with market cipher B and uh, now we're gonna have to wait to see what these higher time frames might be wanting to do um, you know I'd be a little cautious here just because we're getting them quite a bit of zigzag pattern um, I wouldn't be surprised if people are, um, you know, looking at taking profits again, um, you know, at this all time high, um, possibly somewhat of a, uh, we do have a nice little W pattern here. Um, we could be coming down to make one more W and uh, then maybe Doge will be passing that all time high. I'll have to work on these charts here a little bit later, um, but definitely um, Doge is still <laughs> um, doing absolutely insane things right now. Let's see if we can draw this trend line out here. Yeah, just just a nice little trend line break there after our doji candles, uh, two doji candles here on the 10 hour. And then we had to move to the upside. So, um, yeah, now we'll have to wait to see if we're going to just uh, find resistance at this uh, five cent area or if we can uh, manage to break through that. Um, our daily still looks like it's ready to probably break through, but we'll see if we don't get some Christmas tree patterns down here on our daily. Uh, then we're definitely looking for more upside potential when it comes to doge. So. <laughs> I would say keep your alert set for Elon Musk's tweets and see if he's going to pump this thing up any more for us because <laughs> um, it's absolutely incredible. Um, but this has been a long-term holding of uh, the Patreon page too as well. We've talked about Doge before um, and we talked about Doge on this channel uh, quite a bit. So y'all been staying up to date with what's going on with Doge. And uh, if if you're not in our private, cha our private Discord server and part of our pri private trading group, um, come over there and join us because I'm keeping everyone up to date 24 7 there's alert signals that are set for um, your uh, settings and discord too as well so when trend lines break and breakouts happen you get notified and so with that being said folks I think we're gonna make this a kind of a shorter video today um, go ahead and head on out y'all have a wonderful day be safe out there and uh, remember to keep keep stacking I'll see you on the next one CTO signing out peace